Hello YouTube, this is a sound test of the Blue Snowball uh, brushed aluminum version. Now, I understand that doesn't make a difference in the actual sound quality. However, it is nice in appearance. Um, as for the actual microphone itself, it's a uh, very, very nice sound quality. It's very crystal clear, and there's three options. Most people will likely use the first setting, which is actually, if you look in the back of the microphone, the actual snowball, which it looks like a snowball. That's why they call it that. There is, uh, there are three settings. You can switch to the first position, which is uh, if the microphone's facing you, it would actually be the far right, uh, which allows you to have pretty much a unidirectional module which is great for speech, recording, vocals, podcasting, or in my case, what I'm doing right now. The second position will allow a much stronger microphone if you're trying to pick up loud sound sources. Uh, uh, so essentially it's a little bit more powerful. Um, uh, so this is more useful if you're listening to, for example, music, you're trying to record that, or something loud from across the room. The third position is the Omni Capsule. Uh, this position on the far left allows for omnidirectional or all directions around you in a 360 degree rotation to receive sound. So if you're in, for example, a conference room or you're trying to record the environment that you're in, it would be most useful and beneficial to use that capsule. Uh, it captures sound very well. I've tested all of them. I do think uh, for the price you're paying, in that case, it's useful to have these three options. Most of the time, you most likely will be using the first option, especially if you're just doing speech or podcasting. Now, I do have a pop mic installed on here. It is a, uh, a Dragon Pad pop filter, and it works pretty well, actually. It's, it's coming in handy given the uh, positioning of this microphone, which is fitting snug on my desk on this tripod. Now, uh, as for taking up space, uh, being right in front of you might be quite a challenge. You might want to place it off to the side a little bit because uh, if it's right in front of you, it might uh, block your view of your screen or whatever you're looking at, to be quite honest with you. Or if you don't mind, it's actually quite beautiful. It's not an eyesore at all, and it makes you look quite professional. Um, now, I just bought this mic this morning, uh, but I have tested these models before, and... Uh, they don't seem to be very faulty. And for the price you pay, you're getting quite a microphone, especially if you're upgrading from a generic crap uh, headset microphone, for example. Sound pickup is, is substantially better, and it's much clearer. And uh, Honestly, it's quite soothing to listen to, to be quite honest with you. I use this for recording videos, as we're doing here, and potentially anything else I could possibly use it for. So it, it, it does have its uses more than just a, for example, headset microphone, which is strictly unidirectional. Um, and like I said, it increases your professionalism viewing. And if you actually have a mic uh, webcam or some kind of video recording device, it looks quite nice in front of you. It makes you look professional. So it's not just you know a headset microphone that's getting stuffed into your mouth. It's actually quite appealing to look at. All in all, it's a great piece of equipment. In fact, I recommend it for a lot of people. Um, it is just fascinating to listen to. Outstanding sound quality. It looks good. It has many functions, varieties, depending on your situation, which is quite handy. And if you install a pop filter, it makes it even better. Now, a pop filter is going to net you or cost you probably uh, 8 to $10, but 100% worth it. I wholly suggest this microphone. If you're a gamer, it'll improve that too. So, uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, enjoy my voice, because I sure as hell did.